Hello friends, in this video we are going to see how to control the rotation of a turbine. First let's choose a turbine image from image navigator and place it on the front panel. Next for creating a indication like that the turbine is rotating, we need three turbine images. For that, I am opening paint application and pasting this turbine image. Now I am going to edit this image as record. Using color picker tool, I am picking the color from the center of the turbine and using this color as the background color of this turbine image. Now our first image is ready. I am pasting this image on our front panel. Next to create our second image, again I am going to paint. Here now we have to make the full turbine into same color. So we have to pick the color from the sides of the turbine and fill it on the center. I am filling the color on the center so that our whole turbine appears in same color. To create the indication that the turbine is rotating, we have to pick the color that already appeared on the center of the turbine and fill it on the top side of the turbine. We are doing so to create the indication that the turbine is rotating. Now our second image is ready. So now we have to copy this image and paste it on the front panel. Then for creating the third image, we have to again move back to the paint application. Now by doing undo, we can get the same turbine image as before with full turbine in same color. After that, for creating the indication that the turbine is rotating, we have to fill the color that already appeared on the center of the turbine to the lower side of the turbine. We are doing so just to create an indication that the turbine is rotating. So our third image is also ready now. We have to copy this image and paste it on our front panel. So these are the three images we are going to use in our program. So all our three images are ready. Now I am doing a right click on the front panel and from layout I am selecting tab control and placing it on the front panel. This tab control contains two pages so we can add only two images but we require three pages to use all the three images. So I am doing a right click on this tab control and clicking on add page after. By doing so page 3 has been added. Then again do a right click on the tab control. Go to advanced and then if I click on customize a front panel will open with this tab control. Here we are going to customize this tab control with these three images. So we have to copy all these three images and paste it on this front panel. And after that we have to import each of these three images into each page in tab control. In tab control first I am selecting page 3 and then I am selecting the first image and just dragging and dropping it in page 3 of the tab control. So now I have imported the first image. Similarly we have to import the other two images to the page 1 and 2 of tab control. So now I am selecting page 2 in tab control and then I am just dragging and dropping the second image into the page 2 of this tab control. So now if we check the page 3 and 2 of tab control, we can see both the images that we have already imported into the tab control. So we have imported for page 2 and 3. Next we have to import the last image into page 1. We have to go to page 1 and drag and drop the third image into page 1 of the tab control. So now we have imported all the three turbine images. So if we check the pages in tab control we can see that each pages of tab control contain one image. 
so now we have imported all the three turbine images into tab control so next we have to save this front panel i'm saving it by naming it as turbine after saving if i close this front panel your pop-up message will raise asking replace the original control tab control with turbine i have to select yes and then here we have to give save now the tab control in main front panel has been replaced with tab control with turbine image next i have to make only the turbine image which i have imported visible so i have to hide this tab control which hold these turbine images to do so we have to do a right click on tab control and go to advance and click on customize now a front panel will open with tab control here we have to make the tab control invisible so we have to do a right click on tab control and on visible item we have to unselect label and tabs so now our label and tabs of the tab control are invisible next open the tools palette go to colors and on selecting transparent the background color of tab control become transparent then we have to save this as well after saving again if we try closing this front panel the same pop-up box will open asking replace the original control tab control with turbine control so we have to select yes and here we have to give save so now on our main front panel only the turbine image will be visible the tab control holding this turbine image will become invisible on block diagram screen i am changing this tab control to an indicator and for continuous execution we have to place a while loop around this tab control indicator and to give stop condition to this while loop i am connecting a control and on front panel i am just dragging and placing this stop button wherever required then we need a select function so from comparison we can choose the select function and place it inside the while loop this select function contains three input terminals the terminal on the center is yes the top terminal is t and the bottom terminal is f to the bottom f terminal we have to connect a numeric constant and i am giving zero in it the output terminal of the select function is connected to the tab control indicator next to give true or false condition i am placing a boolean push button on the front panel and on block diagram this boolean push button is connected to the s terminal of the select function to give input to the t terminal of the select function we have to select a quotient and reminder function from numeric and place it inside the while loop on block diagram screen then to the upper terminal of quotient and reminder function i am connecting the number of iteration of this while loop and to the lower terminal we have to connect a numeric constant and give three in it because we are using three turbine images output terminal r is connected to t terminal of the select function now we can run this program while the program is executing on front panel if we press true on boolean push button t terminal of the select function will be executed and if we give false f terminal will be executed to execute this program with some delay i am placing a wait function and connecting a constant and giving 300 in it while running this program this program will be executed with 300 millisecond delay so this turbine is rotating with a delay of 300 millisecond so in this video we learn how to control the rotation of a turbine in our next video we can see another topic thanks for watching please subscribe and support thank you